action, that will be the start of it. Hi everyone, I'm Tanner Munson. Um, welcome to Tanner Tries. That is the name of this show. Before you turn it off and you're like, I have enough cooking shows, wait a minute, there's a catch. I don't know how to cook. I don't want to exaggerate anything and be like, I don't know how to cook. I genuinely don't know how to cook. I've probably cooked around 10 times in my life. The rest of what feeds me consists of fast food, takeout, and delivery. I'm not proud of it. It makes me sound like a big grown-up gay baby. Today we're going to be doing a shrimp scampi. However, to elevate this a little bit more, we're going to be doing handmade pasta and I'm going to be deveining shrimp if I have a question that is completely stumping me. I'm gonna to pray to baby Mona Lisa here. Um, I can only pray to baby Mona Lisa once. Uh, so let's start. <laughs> First up is the dough. The ingredients are three large eggs beaten to blend, two cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of olive oil, one teaspoon of kosher salt. So we're gonna start making the well with the flour. That's one. Is a bet, that's two. So this yields, notice how I said yield, one pound of pasta. In my fridge right now is a four week old Jets pizza box, as well as um, old chicken fingers. It's gotta be kind of circle-y. I wanna leave like a hole for the eggs. We have one egg. Wow, Fuck. I hope I don't get a shell in that. Uh-oh, egg number two. We got a shell in it, Shit. Okay. So far, so good. One tablespoon olive oil, one teaspoon of sea salt. I'm like, to get back in my phone. They're really together. Oh my God, am I gonna break it? Oh, we got a lot of salt in there, but that's fine. We want it to get combined with the flour. This is really exciting, actually. How do you feel watching this? A little nervous. Are you a little nervous? Oh, sh my egg mode. Okay, this is fine. This is totally fine. Oh, f I can't say this looks amazing. Okay. Okay. It's just gonna be like an hour of me saying okay. Is it possible to overwork pasta dough? I don't know. It's possible to overwork a dough. So it's not exactly smooth, um, but this is the dough ball that we have. You wanna tightly wrap that bad boy. This is where I start becoming careless because I'm tired. Okay, okay, shrimp. We're gonna do shrimp. The shrimp are, <laughs> they're in the shell and they are not deveined. I'm gonna be dissecting shrimp and taking their buttholes out. That's disgusting. We're just gonna go for it. Oh God. Oh my God. Okay. It's like a little ER table. Oh, I think we got it. Did you get a shot of that? I hope that you're Shadow down. Oh God, that's the nasty shit. Oh. Oh. You're kidding me. Was I cutting out the wrong vein the whole time? Do I pray to Mona Lisa for this? Dear baby Mona Lisa, how do you devein a shrimp? So basically I'm gonna be Googling how to devein a shrimp. So I don't get myself or Michael sick. How to peel and devein shrimp. Hold the shrimp with the back side up. Using a sharp paring knife or deveining tool, make a shallow incision along the vein. And the vein is the black line running along its back. No, I was doing it on the opposite side of the shrimp. Now I understand why you buy shrimp deveined, because this is a pain in the ass. She's like, oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna work on my Julia child. So, the shrimp are, Deveined. Okay, so now it's time to <laughs> make pasta. Look at that handiwork. This looks like cocaine. 
we want to cut the dough in half because it's going to be easier to work with. And that's about where my confidence stops with, the, with dough making. So it has to go in there. But we want it to be noodles. So we probably want it to be kind of like a rectangle shape, maybe. <laughs> I can't get a grip on it because <laughs> of all the flour. OK, there we go. OK, that is. Oh, wow. I don't think it's secured tightly. OK, that's OK, though. Oh my god, it's happening. Oh <laughs> Okay, so I need to tighten it. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. I mean, this is horrible. <laughs> huh? Right. Oh. We're just going to say later to that, <laughs> a long like pasta eel baby. Um, oh, f I, I will say though, this is kind of look at her. Wow. And although the sheet wasn't perfect, it was much more successful in making long linguine, which is great. This again is not perfect, but I'm happy that it sort of resembles linguine noodles. Okay. You know, it's like I could never be in a relationship with a woman, but like I've kissed them in middle school. I'm gonna get to the cooking portion now. So first what's gonna happen is I'm going to prepare all of the ingredients that I need in the correct measurements. And then um, since it says on the recipe that this dish cooks pretty quickly, I wanna make sure that I have those ready so I can just add them to it. One and a half tablespoons of minced garlic, so that's four cloves. So, let's mince it. <laughs> Can I do it all at once? Would that be? Ugh, okay, slow and steady, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> this is about as good as it's gonna get. Quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. So, I've never used this, but I have seen Harry Potter. <laughs> I mean, they're the peppercorns. A quarter teaspoon, Jesus. Okay, so none. Well, we're gonna put it on the top too. Honestly, f it. at this point, I'm gonna just over season this sh out, of, out of this pasta. How are you doing? I'm hanging in. Yeah? Yeah. It doesn't look incredibly chopped, um, but again, I just want to get this done and eat. It seems like I would want more than half of a lemon zest, but uh, we're gonna follow the recipe. Makes me want, it makes me want lemonade. <sighs> we're nearing the end. The thing that spooks me about the coming moments are that everything is going to uh, come to light. There we go. I just took a big gulp of gas. Another large 12 inch heavy bottom pan, that's not 12 inches. Um, <laughs> that's not, <laughs> it's starting to boil. So I'm going to get, it says drizzle some um, vegetable oil into the water, which sounds weird. We're adding more salt, which I guess is fine. Let's see how this goes. I hope keeping them in the fridge was an okay move. Oh, oh, we took it off the heat for a second because of that scary thing that just happened. Um, which I would normally find funny, but now I'm just like, Ugh. whatever. So let's kind of just do that. My mind is very stimulated. I'm just gonna start using whatever's around me to get that in there. The garlic. We're gonna add the shrimp now to what I thought would have maybe made a sizzle and hasn't. It did say salt. Okay. Adding the pepper as well. Oh yeah, the shrimp look good. I feel like I haven't looked at the camera. Hey, checking in, I'm losing my mind. Cause it's sitting in a sink and this probably looks dirty as Put that in there. 
See, it looks like a lot of pasta. We go throw her in there, pal. And then, great. I'm really not gonna worry about it looking amazing, except I feel like that kind of looked amazing. Do you see that round shape? And now we get to eat. What is that? It's a uh, bomb. I'm oh. right now. Yeah. <laughs> Detonate it. Hi, everybody. My name is Michael. I've been behind the camera. And that's it. That's and I'm forcing him to eat the food yes. that I am making. Okay. It's actually pretty good. It's really good. The shrimp is really good. Mm -hmm. I, haven't t I haven't had a bite of shit yet. I think I could have mm. used a little less salt. Um, salty. I would say if like you're following this, doing the handmade pasta thing, watch how much salt you're adding. It is a little salty. It is a little salty. Even though the pasta, homemade pasta was pretty rough, I feel Really happy with the way that tastes. Thanks for watching Tanner Tries. I will try another recipe that I will undoubtedly up. Um, 